So I don't think people understand just how much potential the Quest 3S has. And just so you have some context, my name is Oliver and I have been creating VR content since before the Quest 2 was born and I currently do that on the Quest 3. I really liked my Quest 2, but I always had a hard time recommending it to friends unless they had already tried it and knew that they would like it. Things like the black and white pass through, the fact that even sometimes the menus just weren't smooth and any game that was really good on Quest 2 just always struggled to run on Quest 2. So I just never really wanted to tell anyone to buy this unless I knew that they would love it so much that they could look past those things. So when the Quest 3 dropped and solved all of those problems, I was more than happy to recommend this headset to pretty much anyone. Ow! But it can be kind of challenging to convince someone to spend $500 on a VR headset if they don't know that they're gonna like it. So that's where the $300 Quest 3S comes in. This thing is literally a Quest 3, just slightly down Upgraded to make it cheaper. It has the same chipset and color pass through cameras as the Quest 3, which means everything runs just as smooth, if not better than the Quest 3. And really the biggest downgrade is it goes back to the Quest 2 lenses, which I don't really like, but they weren't ever the biggest problem. Aside from that, I think the only other change that you're likely to notice is that the 3S lacks a headphone jack, which to be honest, I only really use if I'm recording or if I'm playing something competitive. And if you need it, you can always use the USB-C for your headphones and you can buy splitters so you can charge at the same time. But despite those differences, this is the first standalone VR headset that that runs well enough that I feel comfortable recommending it to literally anybody and it is only $300 so hopefully a lot more people can afford it.